There is evidence of blood-brain barrier dysfunction in depression and bipolar disorder. The presence in the blood of high levels in major depression patients of S100B, a calcium binding protein produced by glial cells, is indicative of increased blood-brain barrier leakage. Imaging studies confirm that greater leakage of the blood-brain barrier in bipolar patients is associated with more severe depression. If we think back to tight junction proteins that are involved in making up and regulating the tight junctions of the blood-brain barrier, claudins and zonulin, well, tight junction claudin-5 expression is reduced in the hippocampus of people with major depression. Expression of claudin-5, 12 and zonulin-1 correlates with the age of onset and the duration of the depressive episode. All of this points to the need to optimise sleep, circadian rhythms and limiting toxins which can disrupt the blood-brain barrier. This includes too much junk food which can cause insulin resistance, which also makes the blood-brain barrier leaky. Just another tip.